out again this is twice in one week <laughs> getting used to this um, so thank you guys for joining joining us this morning so we do a roll call so you're here I'm here and we're looking here that everyone else is present and if you are a new viewer we want you to chat in and say hello to Hannah and let Hannah know your first and middle and last name please 
She wants to talk to you. What's your, what's your middle name, Shauna? Lynn. Shauna Lynn. What's yours? Joy. Hannah Joy. Oh, well, is that not perfect, you guys? <laughs> That's like the perfect middle name for you. Thanks. Okay, so we are going to talk today about additional education. So Hannah took advantage of a program that we have, an incentive here. So anything that is non-CE credit, you can take and get reimbursed for. Now, it has to be real estate related and it has to go through the gatekeeper, Megan. But if you want to better yourself or learn something different, and maybe there's a cost associated, associated with it, even a designation, you can take that and you can get reimbursed. So I encourage you to do it. Hannah took advantage of this one today and, or I guess you took it, what, last Two month? week, last week? Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, so it's fresh on her brain, so yeah. she's going to share everything that she learned. Um, so we're excited. Well, thanks for having me. Yes. And then we want to remind everybody about agent dinner. So agent dinner tonight before the storm. It's supposed to storm tonight, but don't let that stop you because it's not going to do that till midnight, and I don't think you guys will be here till midnight, but... As long as it's not another snowstorm. It's, it's not a snowstorm. Maybe a hailstorm, but not <laughs> oh. a snowstorm. So... We're going to have some Italian food. It's not going to be Taco Tuesday. It's going to be pizza and salad. So hope you guys can join us. If you plan on coming, just let us know, just so I'm prepared. Thank you. All right, so are you ready to get started? I am. I'm going to let him. Oh, let's talk about the topics. Sorry. <laughs> um, so Hannah's going to talk about what is ALHS? Nope, it's not a condition. <laughs> It's not a disease. It's not a disease, <laughs> but we are going to talk about how you get it. So you get that's it from exciting. not wearing your mask. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, then you would have it. Who are luxury buyers? <laughs> what are they looking for in an agent? And marketing ideas that she's picked up from other successful um, people that you attended the class with. Yeah. So that's great. So we're excited to hear all this. We're ready to get started. I was told by my husband and kids I had to ring the bell today, so... Oh, sorry. Was that on before? <laughs> I got excited. Oh, okay. Okay. First topic is you have ALHS. <laughs> I do. I I got it two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it goes away, does it? <laughs> I don't think it does. Once you got it, you're not getting rid of it. <laughs> so what is it? Accredited Luxury Home Specialist. So it's a designation. It's a class that I was able to take. Um, and it was great. It's It was a Zoom class like mm -hmm. everything is right now, but it was um, a small number of students. So I loved okay. it because, yes, we learned the material, but you also had a really high level of agent in the class. Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot of brainstorming and idea sharing. So that was really beneficial as well. Yes, that's awesome. So I actually <laughs> got that designation, I don't know how many years ago. A long time ago it's something yeah. you have to keep up and but I think there's a lot of beneficial information that you learn and you know tapping into the luxury market is a different level and you have you have a different you just have a whole different type of buyer yeah. and seller yes so it's really good to know and I think one of the things is they're not a more difficult client at all no, um, no. they're a great client to work with mm -hmm. and um, a lot of fun to work with and of course we all love homes and wouldn't we love to just be selling the luxury homes because they're beautiful and fun to see um, mm -hmm. so the definition of um, a luxury home according mm -hmm. to this course is something that is double the price point of the average home in your market so okay. to get the designation not only do you have to take the class but you have to sell at least two homes mm -hmm. um, that are double the value so in Collin County our average home price is 375 so you're looking at homes that are 750 and above that would be considered a luxury home here so sometimes people go over 750 to just to get a home so I know it doesn't easy. seem like that's the like <laughs> no, that's the bar it doesn't, anymore, right? but it, it is yes. you know we're looking at all of, of Collin County so yeah. So tell us how you get this designation. Like, what did you have to go through to be able to achieve this? So again, it's it's closing those two types of sales, okay. and then it's the two day course, um, and then of course the test at the end of it. But um, yeah, 
And then maintaining it. Yes. Yeah. You have to maintain it. Mm -hmm. You have to pay this. I think the first year, um, the course covers your dues for the first year. And then after that, I think it's $100 per year to maintain the designation. But you do get a lot of resources with that. Like you belong to their, I mean, you can, you have a login to the website and you have a lot of really good um, luxury resources. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, I highly recommend it. Yeah. I think it's great. And as we're all wanting to, and we're doing it. I mean, everyone is doing a great job of, you know, we're just seeing our price points increase. So I think this is a great way to stay on top of it and get some ideas on how to to further expand that. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're going to go into the next topic, and I'm going to let Hannah ring the bell one time. One. <laughs> okay, so what is... Are we, did we do it? (laughs) Home car? (laughs) Hello? Huh, not sure what happened. Oh, there's a car. Hello? (laughs) All right, we're going to just go dive into our second topic. Um, I'm Sean Aquisto, broker of Aquisto Real Estate, and this is Hannah Ewing, a uh, top luxury And we are picking her brain on ALHS, which is a accredited luxury home specialist. That's right. Right? So what we're going to talk about right now are who are these luxury buyers? Okay. So according to the designation, um, the luxury buyer is somebody who has over a million dollars in net worth. Okay. Um, And that doesn't include their home or home furnishings, but a million dollars in the bank and who are they, what are they shopping for? So they kind of break it into two categories. There's the over 50 um, and the under 50. So usually the people over 50 are looking for um, neighborhood amenities like a golf course, um, gated community, and something under 5,000 square feet. And then the under 50 crowd, they're usually um, looking for the great schools, location to work, and all the latest and greatest. They're very early Mm. adapters. And you'll see in a lot of these luxury homes, um, the trends, the trends that we'll see spilling over to the regular market Mm -hmm. in the next several years. But they're definitely going to be the first to have um, the crushed ice maker or the office that's hidden you'll walk in and you'll see the home office well that's just for show behind the doors is where they keep all the real clutter and so (laughs) the stuff that they're going to have in their homes will at some point spill over to the regular market but these homes are typically 7,500 square feet and above um again gated you know what you would expect what you would expect i mean Anybody in Texas wants a pool, but that's one of the things that a luxury buyer is not going to buy a house without a pool. That's just something oh, yeah. that has to be included. So I think I'm a luxury buyer. <laughs> I know I would like to be. <laughs> I just need, there's a key of that that I don't have. I need the finer things. <laughs> yes, we need the finer things. Uh-huh. Well, that's awesome. Okay. And these buyers, I mean, we feel, and you probably feel, we're seeing a lot of these buyers relocate here from other parts of the country, California, New York, yeah. East Coast, West Coast, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so there's a lot of luxury buyers moving to this area. And again, goes back to just, you know, educating yourself and mm-hmm. understanding these trends so you can, you know, tap into that. Mm-hmm. You having a financial background, yeah. this probably is really good for you to, to be able to connect the two. Yeah, absolutely. So, that's awesome. Um, so the next thing that I kind of wanted to talk about, do we ring the bell? Well, yes, we're going to transition to our next topic, which is what are they looking for in an agent? Okay. Okay. So what I, oh, sorry. (laughs) What am I waiting for? Oh, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're back. Sean Aquisto, broker of Aquisto Real Estate, (laughs) Hannah Ewing, top realtor in Collin County, discussing luxury home buyers. Actually, what we're looking for now is what what type of agent are they looking for? These top luxury buyers and sellers, what do they look for in an agent? So they're obviously going to look for somebody who has a lot of experience and a lot of professionalism. Um, mm-hmm. 
you have to bring more to the table when you meet with them than just a black and white printout of an MLS sheet. So they mm -hmm. want high-end marketing materials. But what I found most interesting and something that we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. is a concept called thin slicing. And I think we all do it. We all know we do it, but I had never heard the term before this class. I haven't either. So it's when you make a very quick decision upon meeting somebody um, and it's actually very accurate. So in the first seven seconds, you form an opinion on somebody's personality based on 55% um, of it is visual. So um, making eye contact, do they smile? Are they dressed professionally? You're going to form an opinion based on what you see within the first seven seconds. Um, so the biggest part of that is visual. And then voice quality is 38%. So, voice quality? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, <laughs> so you ever tone. hear yourself on the video? You're like, it's not going to work um, out. Tone, inflection, the volume. So it, it's funny because you know you've done it. You've met somebody and almost immediately you're like, I really like that person. And you can't mm -hmm. tell why you liked them immediately, but there's an immediate connection. And then there's also somebody where you meet and you're like, man, that guy was creepy. Why? It's some of these things. So mm -hmm. when you're meeting with people for the first time, are you making eye contact? Are you, you don't want to, you know, the body language is, like. is everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The body language is everything. And uh -huh. just being very confident, then they're going to immediately trust you. And then 7% is your content. So, you know, you come in with this great presentation, but they're not even listening if you haven't. Mm -mm. If you, if. If you're not dressed appropriately, they're not even going to listen to your content, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, and and the voice part of it. So I'm such a driver, and if I go to buy a car and somebody mm -hmm. greets me and they talk so slow, I'm like, I'm done. I'm out. Like, I don't have patience. <laughs> so it, that's super important, True. too. So, yeah, they're looking for somebody who – now, they're also looking for – they're most likely going to hire somebody based on a referral – Mm -hmm. um, and somebody that has competency. And so one way that you can show that you're competent if you weren't referred is by having um, the list of, I keep a list of um, client recommendations on a mm. flyer so that I can show that to them right when I meet with them. That's a great idea. What previous clients have said, uh -huh. you know, especially if you're not referred, at least it shows that other people have trusted you and thought you did a great job. So. I wonder if we should almost have like a resume Right? Yes. So what they suggested in this class for, for a luxury presentation, which I thought was a fabulous <laughs> idea, was a, um, a brochure, a listing brochure. Okay. So something that I know we come with a, a folder and we have different mm -hmm. flyers in it, mm -hmm. but if you had your own little booklet made up and it kind of hit the points of what, what we're going to do um, for the listing, mm -hmm. um, here's my recommendations, here, you know, here's how our social media, but it's all in a booklet and it's like um, shape differently or a different size, okay. um, like not an eight by 10, something that's a little mm -hmm. non-standard so that it stands out a little bit more. Okay. So we have our bio sheets mm -hmm. that you could easily go to the back of that and put some of your references, I guess, you know, in, in a nice graphic way. Um, we do have our listing presentation that maybe mm -hmm. we can package that up and do it a little bit different because mm -hmm. it does have, you know, some stats and some, you know, some steps in there. So that's great information. We'll have to work on that. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so that's what they're looking for in an agent. We're going to close this topic and head to the next topic. <laughs> Hi, I'm Han I'm Shauna Aquisto, broker of Aquisto Real Estate. This is Hannah Ewing, realtor in Collin County, here talking about the luxury market. And we're going to talk about right now some marketing ideas that you picked up from some other agents in your class. Mm -hmm. Hannah just recently took this ALHS um, class to get her designation for luxury um, homes. And we're interested to hear about some of these cool marketing ideas. So, yeah, one of my favorite parts about the class was um, it was definitely a limited class size. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have... Sometimes you're in a Zoom class and it feels almost the same as um, my kids' Zoom classes right. where everybody's yeah. just, you know, can't mm -hmm. mute their microphone and they're talking. It's so random. But in the luxury class, it was definitely a higher level of agent and they brought some really great ideas to the table. So I felt like most of the time I was jotting down everything they had uh -huh. to say. Um, and so one of the key things that I heard repeatedly was making sure that you are in some way reaching out nine to 12 times a year to your clients or your prospects so that you are always top of mind. So 
in some way. It's a lot, you guys. And I know we talk about, you know, even just getting onto social media and commenting, you know, that's a way to reach out. Well, see, or, they do that because every morning, and you do yes. that, right? Yeah. Before TNT, you guys are logging on those five minutes uh-huh. and but reaching that's, out that's in some way. It is. Um, yeah. a, a handwritten card is huge, especially for the luxury buyer. Mm-hmm. And so some fun ideas that I thought they had that weren't oh. really expensive, but just a quick way to reach out was... Okay, tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. Yep. So if you have a little green flyer and you attach a lottery card. So, okay, you've spent a dollar, but you write a cute little note saying, hey, um, I was really lucky to have met you or something that ties into St. Patrick's Day and luck. Or, hey, don't leave your real estate needs up to luck. You know, contact mm-hmm. an, you know, an agent. So that's just a quick touch. And yeah. then somebody mentioned at um, the 4th of July, she always gets Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And delivers it with a note, you know, spicing up your 4th of July. I'm thinking about you. Um, Those are cute. Those are really cute. And then one that I loved, which I thought tied in well to our merch store, because we Mm -hmm. talked about our tote Mm -hmm. bags. Mm -hmm. So um, some of the agents, you know, we always do a pre-close walkthrough with our buyers. Mm -hmm. And so they're bringing a branded tote to the walkthrough. Um, and in that tote bag would have everything you would need for the day that you move the next day or the next few days. Mm-hmm. So, um, what do you need when you're moving? Maybe some bottled waters, a tape measure, mm-hmm. a candy bar. I don't know, but you have Clorox your tote. Wipes. Clorox wipes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, absolutely. Somebody said toilet paper. Toilet I mean, paper. You're or like, paper oh, plates, yeah. you know, because you mm-hmm. don't have your dishes yet. Mm-hmm. So, some things that they're going to need for moving day all packaged yeah. in your branded tote. And you hand them that during the walkthrough, which I thought was a great idea. That is a great idea. I love that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've talked before about the pop buys. So that's another way. And they will deliver them for you. So I think it's good to have the personal interaction. But, you know, as we get busy, that's also another avenue to just have those set up. Because they have cute little, you know, depending on the holidays, you can send them out however often that you would like, Mm -hmm. but then that just goes out for you. So Mm -hmm. it is really important to keep in touch. I mean, I think this week alone, we had two past clients that, you know, one of them was in 2013, she bought and, you know, she came back and ready to move again. So, you know, you're going to start building those up, you guys, and you got to, you got to protect and take care of them because, you know, top of mind, everyone knows an agent right? Everyone. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think in my previous business, I was a financial uh advisor and our goal was to build a residual income. So you get more assets under management and then all of a sudden you're going to make money, whether, you know, you just have that residual income coming. Uh We don't have that. We're dependent, you know, every, every day, if we don't have a new sale, we don't get paid, but our residual are the the relationships that we're building. And so if you can stay in touch with those Mm -hmm. people, your job is so much easier now than a first-time agent because you're mm-hmm. having so much repeat business. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. And the last thing, like, I'm pretty competitive, so if I ever heard that somebody, you know, went with another agent, yeah, oh, I would be <laughs> devastated. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let that happen. It's not fun. It's happened before, and it's not fun. So, all right. Well, these are all great things, Hannah. I am so appreciative of you being here and sharing all of this with us. Well, I'm thankful that y'all offer this program yeah. um, of us taking a class and being able to get reimbursed. Cause well, it was, it's great. Yeah, it was really great. And I love it when people take advantage of it. I know, I think Katie has taken advantage of it. You have taken advantage of it. Linda has taken advantage of it. Um, so do it, you guys. Get a designation. Do something that's going to further enhance your real estate career. Um, and let it be on us. All right, so we're going to go to That's a Wrap. Last time. Okay, so that is a wrap. We are here with Hannah Ewing. She talked about the ALHS designation and how you get it. Who are these luxury buyers? Um, there's also luxury sellers. Who, uh, what are they looking for in an agent? That was great information to just kind of think about how you're judged in the first seven seconds. I thought that was really interesting. And then marketing ideas picked up from the class that Hannah shared. We love that. And if you guys love what Hannah had to say today, you should go down there and hit the like button. Everyone hit the like button. Smash the like button. (laughs) Smash the like button. Because she did a great job today, and I love that you shared that with us, so thank you. So, you know, if you need some luxury tips, 
she's your girl. Give her a call. So we have agent dinner tonight. We hope to see you all there at 630. Um, let us know if you're coming and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. We're going to both hit it. <laughs> One, two, three. Here I go. Give me that microphone. So I just have to stand here, sit here, and hold. Like, just tap it. Yep. Okay. And then you hit one first, and then two captures What's it. Happening? We're taking just pictures for the thumbnails. Okay. So. With this camera. With that camera. So we're gonna look there when when I say. So I'm gonna hit this, and Omkar's okay. gonna say ready. Okay. Or now. Is that what you say, Omkar? Now. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> no. No. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm hitting Take it now. now. Yeah. No. All right. Did you hit the button? Yes. Yeah. Two? No. Oh, that's how it's captured. Oh! So one preps it. And then and two. Then two oh, okay. Redo. Okay. All right, one second. Five, four, three, two. It takes, <laughs> it takes it when you hit two. Oh, okay. So you hit one. Hit one and then, and two. then two. Okay, got it. <laughs> We're going to get this down. Okay, now what do we do? Uh, then first, first topic, uh, what is age ALHS? Do you okay. have your button, your little pin? No. Mm. I have mine somewhere. I don't know. I can't go look for it. Uh, All right, ready? Okay, let's do this. We'll do fist bump. Okay, ready? Okay. Yeah, I'll give the countdown, okay? I hit one. Now. Yes, no. Now, uh, who are luxury buyers? Luxury buyers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. You. <laughs> you. Okay, we'll point at each other. Okay. Three, two, one, now. Okay, one, and then two. So he, you need to take the picture when he says, because then the text is on the screen. That's the idea. When he says now? When he says now. I hit one, right? You hit two by that time. Oh. Let me check, let me check. Okay, let's do this so for the luxury agent. We'll do the point. Oh, so okay. The luxury buyer. Okay. Um... He's looking at your pictures now, so you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are moving, right? Is mm -hmm. the, the thing you have to stay still for that second. The, the, it's capturing it, right? And you see how the thing goes all the way out. So mm -hmm. those, those are good. The first one's good. Yeah, you just can't be... That one's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to have some... All right. <laughs> so are these good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we redo? All right, we can redo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
So we will. So second topic once again, who are luxury buyers? Who are luxury buyers? Okay. Yes. Uh, the, uh, uh, I, I got the first one without anything, like any topic, like just the picture. Okay. So that was good. Uh, we'll do the second topic now. Okay. So who are luxury, luxury buyers? buyers? How do we even do that? Oh yeah, let's do. Yeah, if you can do like, do you have any money? Okay. <laughs> Give us all your uh, money. The second topic we did, like uh, you, you were like pointing at each other. Here we you go. Woo! Like, okay. Crisp. Crisp. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. So one. Perfect. Slow learners, but we got it now. We got it. <laughs> I've only done this a hundred times. Yeah, everyone gets to watch you guys too, so this is all. Yeah, this you is still great. got this on their own car, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, this is like behind the scenes how they get to see what's going on. It's like getting to watch the <laughs> sausage cute. being I like made. That one. Okay, and uh, then third topic. Uh, what agent? are they looking for in a in an agent? Uh, All right. Okay. One. Now. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I got you a laundry. Oh, oh shoot. Better. Well, this could be marketing, maybe. For marketing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Maybe your mug. For marketing. All right. So, uh, fourth topic now. Okay. Marketing ideas picked up for other success from other successful agents. Okay. 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 Uh, Ready? Three. One. Two, one. Now. Okay. Okay. Looks good to me. One, two, right. three. Here I go. Give me that Ooh. microphone. <laughs> 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 <laughs